He already had six DWI arrests on his record, and he made number seven as dangerous as he could. The accused drunk driver took police on a wild chase, hitting speeds over 100 miles per hour through the middle of Gallup. Here's News 13's Rebecca Atkins. Just days before Christmas, New Mexico State Police Officer Justin Maes was patrolling eastbound I-40 in Gallup when he spotted this car. Could be a silver passenger vehicle Dodge. The officer tries pulling the driver over for failing to maintain his lane. Then the driver starts picking up speed. In the pursuit, I-40 eastbound, passing the 20 mile marker now. He quickly cuts off cars in the right lane to exit into town. Weaving around cars, the driver blows through a red light. The chase continues as the driver and the state cop now travel down Gallup's main drag. Here over Nearly hitting this semi, the driver runs another red light. 491 from Manuel, 10 park. And another. As the two continue speeding through town, they hit speeds of 117 miles per hour. The driver, identified as Winchell Cell, passes this driver on the shoulder. Driving in the median to pass traffic. Uh, there's no traffic in the left lane. The chase continues for almost another minute before So pulls off to the right. The officer says So hit a cattle guard before taking off on foot. He chased him until he finally surrendered about 300 yards from his car. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE, News 13. Now we don't know So's blood alcohol level because he refused to take a breathalyzer test. We do know he already has four DWI convictions. A fifth would mean a mandatory one to two year jail sentence.